Good day, Phila. Uh, today, I want to explain the concept. I want to explain this concept of kinetic. Kinetic. I hope you can see. Molecular theory. Kinetic molecular theory and also the state of matter uh, state of matter state state of matter state of matter and lastly discuss the heating and cooling can firstly i'm going to focus on kinetic molecular theory the kinetic molecular theory states that all matter all matter it's like if i were to take this maybe water say the particle of water inside maybe a glass or something let's see if this one was a glass you see, all matter consists of small particles. See, particles consist of all matter. They consist of consist of tiny particles. Particles. See, then. There are spaces in between, you see. There are spaces, you see. In those spaces, those particles, they are randomly moving, you see. They are randomly moving no sorry they are randomly moving that's a kinetic energy over there you see and they also possesses what you see there are some spaces somewhere here those molecules they are moving maybe upside or you see almost everywhere and again those molecules they possesses they possess force of attraction force of attraction attraction and repulsion and we speak of what now the potential energy you see that's a kinetic molecular theory now what i'm going to do is i'm going now to explain the state of matter this one is so simple state of matter state of matter you see state of matter it's like now let us take this example let's say if this one was an ice say solid and somewhere here let's say now we have liquid somewhere here then deadly let's say we have what now gas see then from solid liquid then we have gas see then what is going to happen if or what is that state now from solid to liquid see we call that state 
melting then from liquid to gas call it evaporation also call it boiling see that state then now from solid straight to gas that's the solid supply machine let us go backward now from gas to liquid call it condense condense liquid to call it liquid to solid we call it freezing freezing then we also have a stage from gas now to solid we call it the position sorry the position just like that we are done with the state of matter and kinetic molecular theory now let us dwell into the heating curve. The heating curve now. Do you still remember how does the heating curve look like? It looks like this. See? We have a heating curve, a heating curve from solid to gas. The heating curve explains or describes the state from solid to liquid. Here we have time. Here we have temperature. Tempe, temperature. You see? Let me ask you this. Let's see if somewhere here we had zero. Then let's see somewhere here we had 100 degrees Celsius zero degrees celsius somewhere then i'm going to label it like this a b c d and i with e you see it's e then i want us now to label each and every letter but using what the diagram we have a and i also made zero degrees Celsius over there from this diagram you just need to know that a is going to represent what a solid a solid solid a solid face a will be a solid face can be an ice let me say ice see can be an ice then from this point up until this point that stage now it's when now the ice changes its face we call it now melting melting up until it reaches this stage the ice from here will continue to melt up until it reaches this point then from this point till C it's what now going to be liquid you see then at D this point up until this point going to be now a boiling up until its state changes into 
gas. Then we have gas. 